Ori Ire Funo Wo, good tidings to you. I pray that you're feeling awake, aware, and elevated in mind, body, and spirit, wherever you are, and whatever may be happening around you. Ashe, Ashe, Asheo. I'm Baba Umar, Oluranche MSA, voice of the MSA, member of the Isoro Traditional Council of Chiefs, Oluwo of the House of Umar, and Baba Lao of Iliawo Orisha. This uh, house, uh, our spiritual house, or in our website, and these video lessons are sanctioned by the Isoro Traditional Council of Chiefs in Ileife, Nigeria. I want to thank you for joining us for another lesson in our video blog series. I invite you to click the links below to become a subscriber to this channel. Click the notification button to stay up to date and share this resource with your family, friends, associates, and anyone that you feel may benefit from this wisdom. Remember to click the like button also. You know, that's uh, the way that you can communicate with uh, YouTube's um, algorithms to say, well, you know, a lot of people are liking this, and so we're going to make sure that this gets more visibility. That's how that works. So when you subscribe, when you click the like button, when you click the notification button, you're communicating with YouTube's algorithms to help us to become more exposed on the channel. Homage to the one who sends and to those who are sent. Homage to Orisha and Egun. Our topic in this video review from my December 2016 blog post is your destiny and your fate. Many of the inquiries that I receive are from individuals who are seeking to discover and confirm the Orisha that crowns their Ori. Many other questions have to do with how one can know when they're on path to fulfill their destiny. Ifa can provide us with the answer to these questions through divination, the craft of the Babalao, the Iel Orishas, the priests and the priestesses. Many of us live in areas, however, where such assistance is not available to us. How unfair it would be, not simply unfair, but unjust for Oludumare to put the longing for Ifa in your and my heart and then not provide you with a means of satisfying that longing. No soul is abandoned in this world. We all have the opportunity and means to be guided if we seek guidance. The opportunity to provide um, to you, the opportunities provided to you by your Ori, your direct link to the spiritual realm, Orun, your assigned share of omnipresence, omnipotence, omniscience, the all-knowing divine consciousness and source of everything. So we say, Ori mi apere, my Ori, my inner head, carrier of my destiny. In my presentations where I've talked about the history of the beginning, I've stated that Oludumade is the realm of infinite possibility and further that this sentient energetic entity decided that it, Orisun, would experience the fullness of what it is, the fullness of the realm of infinite possibility. If you can grasp that idea, then you might grasp the notion that you and I were created as vehicles, mediums, through which Olodumade can fulfill its own intended purpose for creation. In other words, Olodumade is experiencing the fullness of the realm of infinite possibility through you and me, or putting it differently, you are Olodumade expressing itself through the persona 
the avatar, the body, mind, and spirit that is you. Now, don't, don't, don't get cocky with that idea because Olo Dumare is also expressing itself through every insect, every bird, every fish, every animal, every tree, every rock, stone, and mountain, every force of nature, every star, every sound, every ray of light, and every mathematical law, every quantum uh, characteristic of the universe. But you and I are special. We've been given a level of consciousness that allows us to be self-aware and to review the past, choose how we will navigate the present, and we can anticipate and even create our future. This understanding sheds light on the verses of the sacred Odu Ifa Irosu Wari, where it says, Awa gege bi enian, awa ni olodumare yan, lati lotun ile ayese, enia yan iwa. We as human beings, we are the God's elect, designated to renew the world. We are the chosen ones. Let's consider the meaning of the name Olodumare. What are we talking about when we use that terminology? Remember that in the Yoruba language, uh, the Yoruba speak like New Yorkers. They speak fast. And in order to facilitate that tendency to speak fast, they tend to condense words. They'll take three or four or five words sometimes and put those those words together, condense those words down into one word. It's a characteristic of the Yoruba language, and it's manifested in uh, the Ifa, the particularly uh, unique uh, way in which Ifa speaks. So when we think about the word Olodumare, the name Olodumare. Olo, Odu, Ma, Re. The word begins with the prefix, olo. This prefix introduces someone or something who or that has or possesses or has the quality of whatever thing, whatever noun comes next after that prefix. <clears throat> so when we say olo do, o do, is referring to uh, a pot or a container. Um, pot, we may say a cauldron, a large pot, okay? So when we say Olodu, we're talking about the owner of a pot or the owner of a cauldron, a large pot. Ma is a word of negation, meaning not that does not do something. And Re um, is talking about uh, becoming exhausted or empty or to become finished. So when we put all of the pieces of the name together, what we're saying in Ifa, uh, in the Ifa worldview, Olodumare is the source, is the cauldron full of all of the resources and good fortune that humans and the creation need to be sustained forever. Oludumare is the all-sufficient one, the cauldron that never runs empty, the source of abundance that can never be exhausted, the source that is always ready and able to provide. Olodumare is the owner and source of Ifa. And Ifa is a kind of um, Akasha, the Akashic record. It is, it is not just knowledge, it is the, the state of knowing itself. Olodumare, Ifa, is the cauldron of all time, Igba manifested and unmanifested, past, present, and future. 
This is what we mean when we say Igba Oludumade Nigba. Oludumade's time is time. Oludumade represents all encompassing knowing, all encompassing resource, the the uh, orisun, the source of everything. According to Ifa, before you and I came into the world, we chose our Ori, we chose our Orisha, we chose our Odu, and our purpose, our destiny, the reason that we were going to come into the world. We decided that we would come into the world as a creative entity to create something wonderful for Olodumare to experience. In other words, you chose what role you intended to play in the process of Olodumare experiencing the realm of infinite possibility. Your chosen destiny is your sacred agreement with Olorun, that aspect of Olodumare that is responsible for uh, the activities of this time-space reality that we call the Loja. Your Ori is the divine guardian of your commitment to fulfill your destiny. It is your Ori that whispers to you while you're in the process of making your choices. Once you come into the world, into the Loja, the marketplace, your Ori is always trying to guide you towards your destiny with the least amount of deviation from the path that you prescribed for yourself. It is your Ori, not your Orisha, that is the carrier of your destiny. Your Orisha and their helpers and allies assist you by carrying out the will of your Ori or that which your Ori permits. So we say, Ori mi ape sin, my Ori, the most precious. My Ori is the most precious thing that I connect to in this reality. Your Ori is the most precious thing that you brought with you into the world. In a sense, we could say it is the real you. It is the, it is the first thing that you should call on in the morning and the last that you should speak to at night. A believer once asked me, where's Olu Dumade in our prayers and consciousness? My answer was your Ori is your direct link to creator and the purpose behind your existence. Olu Dumade is the one who instructed Ajala to fashion our Ori so that this link, this connection between creator and his creation could be inviolate. Okay. It is, it's, it's unbreachable, unbreakable, right? You have, you, each of us has a, a, a unbreakable link to the divine, to the divine consciousness. No one can take that away from you. You can blind, you can become blinded to the fact that that link is there, but the link is always there. When you acknowledge your spiritual ori, you are also paying homage to the one who is the author of your and my existence. We do call Olodumade's name and pay homage to uh, Olorun as the creator, we demonstrate that our acknowledgement and praise is sincere by following the protocols that the creator has put in place for our assistance and success in the world. That means calling on your Ori, paying homage to your Egun and your Erisha, and calling on them for assistance through your prayers, Adora, and your sacrifices, Ebo and turning to your priest, your Baba Lao, when their expertise and special knowledge is required to seek Orunmila's guidance. Ultimately, in order for your prayers, your ebos, or divination to be of any positive consequence, they must be in harmony with your Ori, the carrier of your destiny, the most precious. So we say, 
Ohun ori wase komani salahi se'eo. When ori comes to fulfill, it cannot but fulfill it. It's ori that comes to fulfill a destiny. And orisha, egun, the babalao, the eel orisha, they are all facilitators of that process, the, the will of your ori. Ori comes to fulfill a destiny, a chosen destiny, your chosen destiny. The concept of destiny is challenging for many people. First, you have to get past the issue of predestination, which I spoke about in our last video. The idea of the divine foreordaining of all that will happen, which of course flies in the face of any notion of free will and choice. The second obstacle that the concept of destiny presents is expressed in the second question that I mentioned above. How do I know if I'm fulfilling my destiny? Destiny is not the same thing as predestination. Where predestination implies an absolute framework for every cause and consequence. Destiny implies that there is a purpose and a destination that we intend to reach on our journey in the world. And from the Ifa perspective, that purpose and destination is chosen, not imposed. There are certain events that will happen to you during your journey in this world, but those certainties are based on your pre-birth and post-birth choices, cause and effect, choice and consequence. Destiny is also related to the concept of synchronicity, the simultaneous occurrence of events that appear significantly related but have no discernible causal connection. That indiscernible causal connection is really the activity of your spiritual ori guiding you towards your destiny through hints and signs. As believers in Ifa, we believe that we each come into the world to fulfill a certain destiny, your destiny, my destiny. In, order, in other words, there's, a certain, there's certain things that you will experience, you will do, you will accomplish in life because they are the reason that you chose to come. Many of us think of our destiny as some grand threshold that we'll cross and all of a sudden life will be different. Everything will become clear and There'll be a loud music in the background and celebration of our grand accomplishment. Maybe, but not necessarily. Your destiny always lies before you. And yet, you're living it every day. Think about that for a moment. Your destiny always lies before you. And yet, you're living it every day. Your destiny involves the things that you say and do, the people that you meet, the goals you achieve, the challenges you overcome, the hard lessons that you learn, and everything else that is a part of your everyday life. The final chapter of your destiny is not written when you reach some professional goal, receive some public acknowledgement, or retire from the last job that you'll ever work. The final chapter of your destiny is not written until you complete your journey in the Loja and return to Oruni Le, your home in heaven. Your destiny is about the life that you live every day because just as other people are being used to help you remember the purpose of your journey, you're also here doing the same thing for other people people that you meet and interact with every day in dozens of different circumstances. This is the one, this is one of the things that make living a life of Iwa Pele, 
good character, so important. Iwa Pele is, is what guides us in our navigating of the everyday life that we live so that we're always interacting with people so that we get the most out of those interactions, both in terms of facilitating their uh, uh, destiny and facilitating our own. We're trying to move all of humanity, the whole human uh, species, to a higher state by our individual choices and the individual things that we do each and every day. We're trying to bring about the good condition. We're living our life to bring about the good condition ordained by Olo Dumade. This is how you live a life that creates something wonderful for Olo Dumade to experience. Often people use the term destiny and fate interchangeably. We should make a clear distinction between the two terms. Your destiny is the motivating force for your journey in the world. Your spiritual ori, your inner head, is the carrier of your destiny, excuse me, your destiny, and speaks to you with feelings, impulses, tendencies, desires, wishes, ideas, and inclinations that move and guide you toward your destiny. But you have a spiritual ori, your ori inu, and a physical ori, your ori ode. Your physical ori is what binds your consciousness to the world, to the loja. And it is the subject, it's subject to the influences of the marketplace. The challenge confronting all of us is to align our choices, the choices of our physical ori, with the guidance of our spiritual ori. So we say, Ori Inu wa Maba Todeje. May my spiritual ori not be in conflict with my physical ori. Okay. Your destiny lies before you. Your fate, the consequence of your choices, emerges from your past choices. Your destiny and your fate overlap in the present moment, and they may be aligned or misaligned, in sync or out of sync. It depends on the choices that you make and if those choices are guided by Iwa Pele and listening to your ori. You are living your destiny and shaping your fate every day with every decision and choice that you make, every action that you take, everything that you choose to do and not to do is shaping both your destiny, the fulfillment of your destiny, and your fate, the consequence of your post-birth choices. In other words, you'll live the consequence of your choices. Whether that turns out to be your destiny or not is up to you. That is, the one, that is one of the divine laws that govern creation and that you agreed to abide by when you chose to come into the world. That's part of your sacred agreement with Olorun, that when you come into the world, you would abide by the divine laws that regulate creation. You would abide by Ifa, the nature of the universe. Ifa, the way in which the universe works. That too is part of your destiny. Every day, you want to be able to say with confidence, Ise tiori ron menni monje. I am doing what I am destined to do. Ona tie da, la seleni mounto. I am following my predestined path. Your heart and your mind should feel in sync with each other, with every choice that you make and every action that you take. That's how you know whether or not you're living in accordance with the reason that you chose to come into the world, whether you're stepping day in and day out closer to fulfilling your divine destiny. Does your heart and your mind feel in sync with each other. 
If you feel emotional dissonance, you need to check with the Bible out. You need to get a reading. You need to take time to reflect. Ask yourself, this decision, why does making this particular decision make me feel uncomfortable, make me feel off balance? Why does uh, doing the things that I'm doing make me feel uncomfortable, make me feel off balance, make me feel dissatisfied? That's an indication. That emotional energy is an indication of whether your destiny and your fate are in sync with each other, whether your mind and your heart are in sync with each other. Listen to yourself. Iba she oludumade, Larry Ikpin, Ibi Keji oludumade. Iba she orunmila, Larry Ikpin, Ibi Keji oludumade. Homage to Orunmila, witness of fate, second to the Creator. Ori mi ape sin, my ori, the most precious. Ise olorun tobi, God's work is great and mighty. Ashe, ashe, asheo. Kiolo dumade, orisha, ati egun, fifune ni, itona, imoye, ati, opo ire. May olo dumade, orisha, and ancestors bestow on you guidance, wisdom, and abundant blessings. Ifa Kambale, peace of mind from Oludumade. Ajo Lo, Ajo Bo. We go out together, we return together. Ashe, Ashe, Asheo.